Hey up everyone, welcome back to the Rugby League History Channel, I hope you're all well. Tonight I'm going to be talking about Peter Volandes and his latest NRL announcement and my reaction to that. So before I get into that video, I'm currently at 621 subscribers, I'm looking to get to 650, that's my next goal. My original goal was to get to 500 subscribers by the end of January, I totally smashed that so thank you to everyone that's um, subscribed to me recently and thanks to everyone that's supporting my channel from the start you're all wonderful beautiful human beings and i love all these subscribers so thanks very very much so getting back to this um announcement that peter Volandis made well it would have been yesterday australian time but it's still today here in england he's announcing that he wants to bring back the three grades being played on the same day so jersey flag new south wales cup and the nrl all on the same day before the, the main event so um, he was asked about it um, by the press the other day and he come back and he said quote unquote he's going to do whatever it takes and that anyone that gets in his way will get run over so um, I, I like his enthusiasm there um, now apparently this idea has got a 96% approval rate by um, players and coaches and it's also received approval from the commission, so I, I think it's it's pretty much set in stone at the moment. Um, now the the idea is that they're going to have a, a jersey flag game, which is going to kick off at three o'clock in the afternoon. That's the under twenty ones um, competition, and then at five o'clock in the afternoon they're going to have a New South Wales Cup match, and then on the same day at half seven at the same ground they're going to have the NRL match. So, um, very very good news. I've always wanted this to be put in place because for the first 90 year of rugby league, all the way up until you could see the early 2000s, when you had a, a game of NRL or a game of New South Wales rugby league, you'd have three, uh, you'd have two games prior to that. So you'd generally have the third grade match, then you'd have reserve grade, and then you'd have NRL. And I remember going to the grounds. I was quite young, and it was really good. You used to get your, your program guide used to watch the third grade match, watch all the players that were coming through the ranks in, in that game. Then you got to watch the reserve grade match. You got to see players that might have dropped out of the NRL side or were fighting again in the NRL side. And then you got to watch the, the main game. So you got three games on the one day. It was value for money. And also it brought a lot of connectivity to the club in between the grades and the players. You knew um, who was playing in what grade. You know who the... the up and coming players were you knew the players that you had to look out for and um, you got to see players grow through the grades and eventually made the make their debut and over the last 20 years that hasn't happened what's happened over the last 20 years is that i think clubs have gotten lazy clubs have tried to cut costs by getting other clubs to be their feeder sides case in point like south sydney getting shot of their reserve green side bringing in north sydney and you've got um instead of a eastern suburb sydney roosters reserve green side they had newtown as their feeder side trying to cut costs and st george got shot of theirs canberra got shot of theirs they they got in a, a partnership with mounties there and then at the same time they decided to make the under 20 competition the holden cup the toyota, toyota cup they decided to make that competition the second most important competition in the um, NRL or the Australian Rugby League system. So the New South Wales Cup and the other grades got all got cast aside. And pretty much for the last 20 years, the New South Wales Cup and the lower grades have just been a case of out of sight, out of mind. The general population, most rugby league fans, wouldn't have a clue who's in their reserve grade teams or who's in their lower grade sides. Most don't follow the New South Wales Cup or any of the lower grades because they're just not there. When when you go to the NRL match, that's all that's there. Just the NRL match and there's there's nothing else to watch. Um, I know some Canterbury and Penrith fans that a few years ago, they didn't even know their side was in the New South Wales Cup Grand Final. They went, oh, really? Our team's in the reserve grade Grand Final? Pff, I didn't know. I, I don't really follow it. Who, who's in there? Can you tell me? And, I'd, I'd actually know who, who was in their team more than they know and they actually go for the club so work that one out um, you also had clubs that were getting um, played out at 
far out grounds in front of no fans and in front of no television coverage, no radio coverage. So hopefully with this decision, this is going to change things. Everyone's going to be more connected to their club and they're going to know who's coming through the grades and they're going to know um, more about what's happening in the lower grades. And, and for someone like me that's really big on the New South Wales Cup and that, I'm, I'm dead pleased with this decision. So thanks, Peter Valandis, for getting this over the line. Anyways, everyone, um, that's my reaction to the, the news. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you have not yet subscribed, please consider doing so. Anyways, this is Rugby League History. I'm signing off, and I'll catch you all later in the next video. All right, tatty bye now.